And good evening, folks. Welcome along to the Sky Zone HD Game of the Week. I'm Kelly Hardy, joined by James Klein. Good evening, James. Good evening, Kelly. What a beautiful evening we have here tonight as Ash County hosts the visiting Asheville Christian Academy. Let's look uh, here at the matchup. We will start with the overall records. James, what are we looking at tonight? Well, uh, Ash County's sitting at 3-1. and one. Um, We had a tough loss two weeks ago against a really good Mountain Airy team. And then Asheville uh, Christian Academy, who is the Lions, are 1-3 uh, overall and 0-2 in their conference. Right, and max prep numbers on these teams currently. So Asheville Christian sits at number 300 and Ash County at 174. Huskies coached by Brian Hampton. The Lions coached by? Uh, it's Coach Bradley. Uh, we don't have his first name, but uh, it's Coach Bradley is what we've got. Sounds great. And, again, if you like offensive football, this game looks like it's going to have it tonight for sure. Both teams throwing over 1,000 yards uh, and receiving already on the season. Uh, multiple touchdowns by multiple players for both squads, James. It looks like it's going to be a shootout. Yeah, both teams uh, run the uh, – they run the uh, – Lord, I've lost my train of thought. But uh, the air raid offense, there we go. They both uh, run the air raid, so not much running from the uh, – the Lions this evening, uh, their leading rusher is actually their quarterback. So, uh, you know, both teams are going to be throwing the ball tonight. Probably be a long night, to be honest, Kelly. Right, and the Randy Marion Ford keys to the game, James. What are we going to be looking at here for the Huskies tonight? Uh, limit the explosive pass. Contain the quarterback, as I said earlier. He's a scrambler, and he leads the team in rushing. Uh, protect Blake and uh, finish drives. Great. And the Dr. Pepper player to watch for each team. Who are we looking at here tonight for the visiting Christian Lions? Uh, his name's Javier Rice. He's a six foot four senior, 205 pounds. He's got 14, over 1,400 yards passing already. Uh, he's leading the state. Uh, he's got 64% completion rating, 15 touchdowns, only through six interceptions. Uh, he's averaging 358.2 uh, passes per uh, attempt, and his quarterback quarterback rating is 102.8. Great numbers there from Javier Rice. As you can hear the noise uh, intensifying here in the stadium, the Huskies are lined up here to the left side. A couple guys are up on the cage, cheerleaders out on the field. The stands are starting to fill up here with some purple tonight. And, uh, again, a really nice scene here at the uh, Ash County High School. Let's not forget who the player to watch is here for the Huskies. He's down there in the cage somewhere. Who is it? That's Blake Peters. As he's having an outstanding year this year, throwing over 1,000 yards, close to 1,100 mark. He's got 14 touchdowns, six, uh, six interceptions, throwing for 271 uh, yards uh, per game. And then his uh, quarterback rating is uh, 114.5. So we've got two really good quarterbacks to watch tonight. That's right. Two incredible quarterbacks here tonight on the Dr. Pepper player to watch. The Huskies take the field wearing their gray pants, purple tops, and silver helmets. The visiting Lions have white jerseys with blue numbers, navy pants. Again, we're excited about the ball game tonight here. Unusual night on a Thursday night here playing the varsity action. And so um, Asheville has brought a handful of fans up there for their side. Our stadium is looking half full over here for the Huskies, and we hope uh, to get a good crowd. If you're listening tonight, we appreciate you joining us on the Sky Zone HD Game of the Week. Yeah, it's it's exciting night for Thursday night football. It's it's a rarity you see um, you see the varsity in action on Thursday night. It's usually JV's playing. So uh, with for a Thursday night, we've got a really good crowd. To be honest. And the, um, I believe the Lions won the toss, selected to receive the ball. And so they will start off with the ball, moving left to right. Huskies set up here on the right side, going to kick right to left. Senior Manny Olvera lines up the ball here, getting ready to take the Moe's Boots opening boot. Asheville Christian has two uh, players lined up at the 10-yard line. Overa sets his guys. Ball's at the 40. We're getting ready to go into the air. 12 minutes on the clock, and we're underway here at Ash County High School. Ball takes a skip, scooped up by Asheville Christian, returned to the 25-20, pacing himself, and he's taken down about the 27-yard line. 
by the Husky defense there. And Asheville Christian will start off first and ten. Going to see that quarterback we talked about, Javier Rice, coming out right out of the game here and uh, going to look to get some points on the board, I'm sure, James. Yeah, we need to – with that passing game of theirs, we really need to watch the deep ball. The quarterback can run, so he's the leading rusher of the team. And we've got Javier Rice in a shotgun formation. Two receivers to each side, running back beside him. Takes the shotgun. He's a really quick handoff to number 10. Um, I apologize. That's number 10, Rice, handing off to DeMario Rice. Looks like maybe a sibling or something. We're unsure. Two Rice brothers there, seniors. But uh, nonetheless, Asheville's going to move fast as well. They're back up to the line. Two receivers to each side. Quarterback's... uh, in shotgun, now he's moved up under center. Now he's just calling out the plays back to shotgun formation. Two receivers to either side. Same play. Takes the hike, pitches it to 23. He's up the middle for a first down, James, all the way to the 46-yard line. Yeah, that's a little surprise. And I talked to the coaches earlier this week at uh, Frash County High School. They said, uh, you know, they're not going to be expecting a lot of rushing plays. we starting out with two uh, running plays right off the bat. As is correct, so two running plays, first down, first and 10 from the uh, 47-yard line here for the visiting Lions. In shotgun formation, two receivers to each side. Quarterback calls for snap, same play. Pitch to 23, the Huskies were ready for it, and that stopped nowhere. Looks like uh, Lucas Spencer and Luke Peterson in on the tackle there. Yeah, Luke. Luke's a wrestler. I, I talk about wrestlers all the time. So, uh, but he, you know, a wrestlers gonna make plays. They they know how to tackle. Three receivers now to the south side. One to the north side. They're on the left hash, moving left to right. Ten thirty-five and counting here in the first quarter. Rice takes the shotgun formation. First pass of the game. He drops back, airs it out, and that's a little uh, overthrown there, incomplete. Well, for the lines, that's a. Really good uh, good thing it happened there because we was all over that play and could have probably picked that off and had a pick six, six easily. Third down and nine. Two receivers to either side. Rice is barking out a call here. Looks like he's going to spend most of his night in the shotgun formation. He just gets up close to the line to get his guys set. Third and nine. Snaps taken, looking for a pass. He's looking out to the right side, airs it out. That looks like it's going to be overthrown a little bit as well, caught by the receiver, but it was out of bounds. Yeah, it's good coverage. One thing I noticed uh, defensively for us is all our defensive linemen are standing up, and the reason that they're standing up is I believe that they, uh, they're going to try to blitz a lot tonight because what you when you've got pass protection at zone blocking, uh, a good way to trick the zone blockings by standing up uh, all, all your linemen. You don't know who's coming. Bridger Fairchild stands at the 21-yard line looking to receive this fourth and nine punt. Snaps up a little high, collected, kicked off. Nice punt. Hands in the air. Fair catch called by Fairchild at the 18-yard line. Huskies will take over first and 10. 10-14. Great defensive stand there by the Huskies to start out this game, James. Yeah, that was a that was a decent punt. Uh, looks like we're starting off about the 18. Uh, good stop for us. Let's see if we can get a touchdown right now. And again, your Huskies wearing purple tops, gray helmets, and pants. Peters in the shotgun formation. Two receivers to the south side. Two to the north. Peterson beside him. Man in motion. It's a quick screen here to the left side to Peterson. He's moved up to the 25-30. He's getting to the outside, 35-40. Cuts it back, 45-50. He breaks the tackle. He's up the left sideline. Knocked out of bounds at the 36-yard line. Looking like about a 50-yard run, James. Is that right? He went from the 18 to the opposing 36. That's 14 and 32. 46-yard run there, Uh on the screen pass there by Peterson, catch and run. Exciting play here at the stadium. Huskies get back up under center here, first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Peters calls for the snap, rolls to the right side. He's looking to throw again. Plenty of time. Steps and throws deep. Man wide open. That looks like Ryder Phipps, number five, got out there, got loose, and Peters hit him in stride. Touchdown, Husky. Yeah, wide open, blown coverage by the Lions. Uh, great pass by Peters. You know, we got two plays, and we got a score. That is the way to do it there for the Huskies offense. That's a two-play 
82-yard drive. Took over maybe 40 seconds off the clock there, James. What an incredible drive there for the Huskies to get started. Overa back for the point after try. Ball snap. Fairchild gets it down. Kicks low, but I believe it goes over the uh, upright there. It counts 7 nothing Huskies. 9.53 to go on the clock. Let's take a quick look at that touchdown play on the Greens excavating instant replay. And now, James, give us that Randy Marion Ford drive summary. Uh, two plays, 80, uh, 86 yards. Uh, ended with a touchdown from uh, Ryder Phipps uh, from uh, Blake Peters. Wide open by himself. So, uh you know, that's that's the type of start we need. That's exactly right. Huskies hop out here uh, against the visiting Lions, getting up 7 to nothing on their first possession. Now they will kick the ball off again. Uh, Lions will be receiving. Got two guys back about the 12-yard line. Lions will be moving left to right. Overa sets up the kick. He is ready here, getting again for the Moe's Boots kickoff. And it is up and away in the air. Great kick by Olvera, fielded by the Lions at the 10. He's heading back toward midfield, switches the ball to his right hand, dodges a few tackles, but the Huskies are right there and will take him down at the 22-yard line. Great gang tackle there by the Husky. Yeah, we had three guys on that play, and, uh, you know, as a coach, you want to see – Everybody going to the ball, and we had three of the uh, 11 on that ball. Asheville Christian with their second possession will be marked on the, the near side hash. Moving left to right. Rice back in the shotgun formation. Three receivers to the top side, one to the south. Huskies look like they got six DBs on the field tonight. Pass is complete up the center. Uh, short gain there. The Huskies get number eight uh, for the Lions after he made that catch. Yeah, three three Huskies right there. At gr- great coverage. Gain of six yards. Second and four here for the Huskies defense. Again, Lions in shotgun formation. Four wide receivers, one running back in the backfield. Shotgun's taken back to the air. It's hit number eight right uh, to the 35-yard line. It's going to be real close depending on where they mark this. Yeah, it looks like we're playing about six defensive backs tonight, so we're prepared for the uh, air raid. And another third down here for the visiting Lions. Shotgun formation, two receivers to each side. Huskies showing blitz. They take off, hand off to 23 up the middle, and the Huskies with that blitz are all over that, and that's a loss, a two-yard loss there on that play. Yeah, all year long, pretty much we've had really good play up front in our interior defensive line, and uh, it's showing again tonight. So fourth down, here we go, Kelly. Fourth down deep in their territory. The Lions look like they're going for it, James. That has maybe something to do with the Huskies just coming out blazing and scoring in two possessions, and they understand they've got to get their points. Fourth and short here. Snap's taken. Two-step drop. He's looking for a quick screen this side. It's caught number seven, and the Huskies stand him up at the 41-yard line. It's going to be a first down, but, man, what a stick there. Yeah, that was a good a good hit. Uh, the lines with the tunnel screen uh, with the wide out. Got about five yards enough to get the first down. That looked like number 22, Lucas Spencer, on that stick. He was just about a yard from uh, stuffing him short for that thing. Nonetheless, first and 10 for the visiting Lions from the 42-yard line. Sorry, 37-yard line, first and 10. Ball's looking up in the air. He's got a receiver down the left sideline into the basket. Catches it. He's all the way down to the Huskies' 20-yard line. That's a 43-yard pass there for the visiting Lions. Great passion catch on their end. Yeah, that's uh, something that uh, Coach Pruitt and Coach Hampton don't want to happen is give up that deep ball. Uh, that 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 can hurt you in the long run if you have bad coverage down the field. Right back to the line here. First and ten for the Lions. He takes the snap. Two receivers each side. Flushed out of the pocket. He's going to run. As we mentioned, he can run. He's tackled there by the Huskies defense. 
53 is that Elliot Cox there on the tackle for the Huskies, bringing up a second and four. Yeah, it looked like we had uh, both outside linebackers blitzing on that play, and uh, there was an opening up the middle, and that's where the, the quarterback went. Rice is uh, leading the team in score, rushing. Snap taking, he hands it off to 23. That same little play they've been running a lot up the middle. Goes to the left side for a gain of five. Looks like that will be a first down again for the Lions. First and 10 from the 11, 7 11 on the first quarter clock. Yeah, the Lions are catching us off guard with the run game a little bit. And uh, Lucas Spencer, he's got his third tackle tonight, so looks like he may be busy tonight. First and uh, 10. Here they can get a first down about the one-yard line. Two receivers to either side. Shotgun formation. Takes looking right. Quick pass. Caught. Receiver is down. His knee hit the ground about the six-yard line. Uh, That's uh, Miles Westbrook with the catch. Yeah, uh, I believe the uh, the wide receiver, he he felt some pressure there and tried to spin off, and uh, it looked like maybe he lost his step there. Two receivers to the north side, two to the south here. Lions driving, second and six. Shotgun formation, snap taken, two-step drop, looking, throwing way to the left side. It looks like that's going to float out of bounds, but it was a beautiful pass and catch, but just too wide. Yeah, they, the Lions appear to have some really quick wide receivers. Uh, pretty decent throw is a safe throw to throw it uh, where he did. If, if I believe if the receiver had been a little taller, maybe they'd have scored on that. Third down and six here for the Lions. Pushing here to get their first points of, of the night. Huskies defense looks like they got a lot of guys covering. Snaps taken. Quick pass again. Similar area up in the air, and that's knocked down Bridger Fairchild all over that ball. Yeah, I thought Bridger had that. If he had caught that, I believe he had a run uh, for 100 yards for a score. So it's good to see it. Bridger playing that safety position uh, all over the all over reading that. Now it's fourth and six for the Lions. Again, they can get a first down at the one-yard line. 6-19 on the clock. Rice in shotgun formation. Takes the snap. He's flushed out. He's going to the right side, and the Huskies are on him. They take him down. That's going to be real close, depending on where this mark is, if they're going to give him the first down, James. Look short. Yeah, I was, I was about to say I had a feeling the quarterback would be running this short uh, of distance and I believe the Huskies was thinking the same thing because we start them a good yard short great defensive pressure there by the Huskies got him scrambling and then the uh, outside guys made the tackle at the two yard line Huskies will take over first and 10 from their own two six eleven in the first quarter first drive was 82 yards let's see how the second one's got a chance to be 98 yards Peters in the shotgun formation. He's about five yards deep in the end zone. Takes the snap. It's a handoff to Peterson. He gets a few blocks up the middle, scurries out to about the seven-yard line. Yeah, good, good little play there. Get about. It's a safe play to get us out of the end zone. So he got it five yards. Good start. Good start for the Husky drive. Switching out some wide receivers here. I see Bridger Fairchild as well as Bryce Peters coming onto the field. Yeah, we uh, looks like we got we got two receivers to the north side. Limley in motion, screen pass out to the right side, called by Ian Graybill. He makes a guy miss. He's up the right sideline. Nice gain there, pushed out at the 21 yard line. It's a nice 14 yard gain. Yeah, Ian's Ian's been huge in that position where we throw that little screen out there. Uh, with his height, his, his long legs, he, he can get up the field really quick, and that's a big bonus for us. First and 10 for the Huskies, 528, ball on the 22-yard line. Peters by himself now, four receivers to the south side. Another screen pass caught by Bridger. He shakes the guy off, comes back to the outside, almost breaks the tackle, but the uh, Lions get on him there and take him down at the 29-yard line. Yeah, good play, uh, good blocking by our receivers. Uh, kid for the lines, he turned his back, and we waited till he turned back around with Bridger cutting back in, and then we put a block on. So a smart play by the receiver out there on the block, and then, you know, Bridger getting six yards on that reception. 
Great start again for the Huskies now. Second down and four. Peters in shotgun formation. Two running backs. One to either side. He hands it to Fairchild this side. This time he shoots up the middle, continues to breaking tackles. Again, tough kid here. He's to the 34-yard line for another Husky first down. Bridger Fairchild on the carry. Yeah, Bridger got about six yards. Uh, Bridger's very shifty. Uh, good little runner. Has good vision. Hard to bring down. And... Uh, you know, he's the guts and the glory of the team. Peters back in shotgun formation. One receiver to the north, three stacked to the short side of the field. Snaps taken. He's looking up side. That's Graybill across the middle. He's caught at the 50. He makes a man miss, gets a block. He's off to the right side, 35-30, 25-20, and he is taken down from behind at the 16-yard line. Great play by Ian Graybill. Again, another huge gain for the Huskies. Yeah, uh, Graybill's such a – to be as big as he is, he's, he's fast. He, know, he sees the open field. A huge pass play right there. Peters in shotgun formation. Three receivers to the south, one to the north. He takes the snap. He's looking to throw again. Throws it up in the air toward Graybill. It's in the air and just overthrown off the hands of Graybill there in the end zone. Huskies looking for the quick score. Yeah, I mean, that's a – you can't beat that pass. It was perfectly placed. Uh, looked like we had a chance of that, but uh, maybe the lights got in his eyes. I'm not sure, but uh, hopefully we can get another attempt here. Graybill trots off the field here. He's going to take a breather after the two long plays. 4.04 in the first quarter here remains. Huskies looking to get on the board again. Shotgun formation. Snaps taken. Peters throws it to Fairchild again. Got lots of blocks, and he's going to score for the Huskies. Great play call. Piscopo. Yeah, that tunnel screen. You know, he, he's quick. Got good hands. Good blocking. Um uh, just a really good pass play there. I like we're using Bridger Fairchild in multiple ways here as we go on the season, looking for ways to get the uh, ball into that young man's hands. He is exciting to watch. Overa lines up for the point after from the 10-yard line. Fairchild down for the hold. He calls for the ball. Snaps down up. It's a much better kick this time right through the uprights. 14 nothing Huskies. 3.56 left here in the first quarter clock. Let's take a look at that Green's excavating instant replay on the touchdown to Bridger Fairchild. And let's hear from Mr. James on the Randy Marion Ford drive summary. Yeah, that was a uh, five plays, 98 yards, uh, with a mixture of the the pass and the run. Uh, we moved the ball very efficiently up the field, and ended up with a Bridger Fairchild uh, touchdown. That's right. I believe all the yards gained that drive were Gray Bill and Fairchild alternating possession there, moving the ball down the field, right to left for the Huskies. Again, we mentioned it's going to be a high-scoring game. That means a little bit of longer game, too, as the clock doesn't roll and move as much uh, in these type of games. 3.56 to go here in the first quarter. Overa lines up again for the Moe's Boots boot. He's re-walking off his steps. Two receivers now. They've moved up to about the 18-yard line to receive as they were at the 12 earlier in the game. Let's see. Overa boots it deep, and it's going to go over the head of the gentleman there. He catches it at the 10-yard line. Moving up center again. They kind of slow pace this. Their guys don't hit it as hard, and uh, Huskies are all over that and take him down at the 24-yard line. Now, one thing I, I believe, our uh, special teams looks a lot quicker and a lot bigger than theirs. Uh, you know, special teams is a huge part of, the, of winning football, so – uh, hopefully we can keep them contained and make them throw the ball and we put pressure on them and hopefully get a turnover right here. Lions coming out for their third possession here of the night. Huskies defense, again, kind of like a dime package as we talk to some of the coaches they may be running. Six DBs here. Shotgun formation, three receivers to the north side. Quick pass this time. Caught by the, and taken down immediately by the Huskies defender there. Again, that's number one, our boy. Yeah, Bridger. Bridger all over that. He read that play. He was playing deep in his safety spot, but he read the pass and ran about seven yards and made the tackle. 
Number one, Bridger Fairchild all over the field tonight. Second and five for the Lions. Shotgun formation. Two receivers to each side. Running back beside the quarterback. That's Javier Rice. Drops back deep. He's looking to throw. He's got plenty of time. That ball's caught by number two, Avery Hollifield, and then he's taken down immediately by the Huskies' defense. That looked like Limley on the tackle. Yeah, that was Limley. Limley's the outside linebacker. In the past four games, he's been playing stand-up on the line. as more like a defensive end or a, or a Sam linebacker. And tonight, he's he's been playing off the ball and uh, playing the, basically the slot uh, receiver. Lions do get a first down. First and ten now looks like from the 34-yard line. Bryce looks to the sideline for the play call. Snap's taken. He's back to drop again. Going to throw it up deep. He's got a man down the left sideline. Airs out. That ball landed at the 25-yard line. That's a great toss by him, but a little too far. Yeah, that kid there has got an arm on him. Uh, He threw that a good 50 to 60 yards uh, highly in the air. We had two Huskies uh, double coverage, though, and uh, he was not able to connect on that play. Again, this is a new look for the Huskies tonight with the, as many of these defensive backs on the field, and uh, you just never know what's going to happen with that going on. They could get uh, tired out here as these guys are running down the field quite often with these plays. does look like there was a penalty flag on that, James. I didn't see it on the field, but it looks like the ref came over and acknowledged uh, some type of hold against the Huskies, giving the Lions a first down. I didn't see the call. More than likely, it was probably a defensive hold or a pass interference. So, uh, first down. Automatic first down for the Lions. First and 10 from the 44-yard line. Snap taking that quick toss to 23. He's up the middle. And uh, looks like Lucas Spencer there on the tackle after a short gain of five. Yeah, Lucas Spencer is our leading tackler this year. And uh, he's just padding those stats with his play. Uh, Very impressed with uh, Lucas. Second and five for the line. Shotgun formation. Three receivers to the north, one to the south. Two ten and counting now here in the first quarter. Lions take the snap. Tur- looks right, fades back left. Looks like a screen pass caught by a little sh- fast guy. He's running right to left, but nowhere up the field, James. Yeah, he, uh, instead of north to south, he is running east to west, and, uh, Luckily, we had uh, plenty of Huskies there to just give him a five-yard gain. It is now third down and five for the Lions. Shotgun formation. One receiver in the backfield, three wide receivers to the north side, one to the south. A minute and 30 now in counting here in the first quarter. He looks like he's changing the play. Huskies defense making some motion, putting some pressure up against the line. Eight seconds on the play clock. He calls for the snap. Looks to the left. Real quick pass thrown out. Caught and nowhere to go. Again, a great open field tackle there by the Huskies defense. That's Eli Limley. Yeah, Limley playing the outside linebacker. Uh, His assignment is to get on a receiver this time. Uh, Great. Great coverage, great tackle. They didn't get nothing on that. And again, the Huskies press uh, defensive pressure causes a fourth down. Fourth and four for the Lions right at midfield. 52 seconds on the clock. Snap taken. Fakes the handoff. Throws it to the right side. Short of the first down call. He's moving up the field, but I don't believe he's going to make it to the first down. The Huskies defense all over that stop. Maybe a gain of two yards. Yeah, it looks like the, the Lions probably don't, you know, they don't have the they have the philosophy of going for it when around the 50. So, so far I've seen two attempts to, to get the first down, and uh, it's failed. So, maybe he'll start seeing some punts here soon. Huskies defense again on point there. Looked like a host of Huskies, middle linebackers, outside linebackers, defensive backs. Everybody got to the ball there and stopped him short of the first down. Huskies take over first and 10 from the 47-yard line. 40 seconds left here in the first period. Huskies moving right to left. Snap taken. Peters throws across the field. Uh, Eli Limley slips down before that catch is made right around the first down marker. Yeah, just uh, just a little short on or a little behind the pass there. Second, second ten. Let's see what we roll with right here. Thirty-six and a half seconds left here on the first 
quarter clock. Peterson shotgun formation. Three receivers to the south, one to the north. Peterson beside him. Puts him in motion. Coming down to the north. Looking this way. Quick pass. Caught by, oh, that Bridger, Bridger Fairchild had it in his hands and then kind of dropped it there, James. Unlike him. Yeah, looked like the pass is a little above his head. Uh, he, also, he... I don't think he had firm grip with his feet on the on the ground, so he lost concentration. He was kind of turning as the ball was coming, and then just as James alluded to, he may have slipped up there. Third down and ten for the Huskies. Two receivers to each side. No, three to the north side, two to the south. Nobody in the backfield with Peters. 32.9, takes the snap, two-step drop, looking to get rid of a quick over the middle. That's Limley, called at the 40-yard line for a first down. He's taken down at the 34-yard line for a Husky first down. Yeah, Eli is a big tag, a big target, six foot five. I mean, you can't miss that kid. It's a good, good throw by Blake. And third down connection there for Peters for the first down. Twenty-two seconds and counting. He's calling out a play here. Last one of the quarter potentially. Shotgun formation. Three to the north, three to the south, one to the north. Puts Fairchild in motion. He's now to the north side. Snap taken. Two step drop over the middle. Thrown. That ball is intercepted. Intercepted by number 18 for the Lions. He is returning that ball. There were two flags thrown after that interception. Let's see what happened there. It looked like it just got away from Peters. Yeah, he threw in the double coverage. He had a, a defensive back on the inside of his receiver and one over top. That's a hard pass to make. I would say you probably have a block in the back right now. Looks like blocking the back on the return there for the Lions. They will remain in possession, but will be moved back on the field. Six-tenths of a second left here in the first quarter. Huskies lead 14 to nothing. Asheville Lions with the interception will be the first turnover of the game outside of turnover on downs that they've experienced. Now this will be the last play of the half of the quarter, James. I jinxed us there. Yeah, 14 to nothing. Um, they got the ball back. We didn't run the ball any of that, that series. Hopefully we can do that when we get back. They get the ball back. Shotgun snap taken by Rice. Throws it to his receiver, and he just dropped the ball there to end the half as the horn was blowing. It's been an exciting first quarter here. Let's take a moment and cool down as the fall air is moving in with Scott Brothers heating and air. Randy Marion Ford, the king of prices in West Jefferson. Randy Marion Ford guarantees the lowest price on over 5,000 new and pre-owned vehicles. Home to the best-selling trucks in America. Come see the staff you know and depend on. Take a test drive and take home your new Ford or pre-owned ride. You can also shop us online 24-7. The area's number one volume and fleet volume dealer in the southeast. We'll even send you home with a full tank of gas and free delivery up to 200 miles. When it comes to insurance, Miller Insurance has over 70 years of experience in the business. We offer auto, home, farm, and business insurance, along with several other products to make sure you have the right coverage that fits your needs. Before you renew, give us a call at 336-246-7151 or stop by 107 South Jefferson Avenue in downtown West Jefferson. Miller Insurance is proud to support all our hometown teams. Moe's Boots was established in 2005 in the high country. Now with locations in Ash, Avery, and Watauga, we are the high country's leader in workwear and Friday night football gear, including apparel, footwear, and accessories. Moe's Boots prides themselves on having the biggest selection of the hardest working gear on the market, along with undeniable top-level customer service with pricing that is unmatched. Come shop your hometown team's favorite hardworking brands like Carhartt, Danner, Rocky, and more. Carol Original Wear has been in the business of custom apparel and merchandise for over 20 years. From starting in Western Wear, they also specialize in custom embroidery, t-shirt graphics, and jerseys. They offer their services to teams, businesses, and the greater public. Carol Original Wear is dedicated to creating quality products that teams and businesses will be excited to wear. They are proud to support our hometown teams. One of the largest expenses you face as a homeowner is heating and air. Make sure your system is installed and maintained by Scott Brothers Heating and Air. 
At Scott Brothers, they install and service all leading brands of equipment and will even work with you on financing a new energy efficient unit, saving you money. Scott Brothers Heating and Air, locally owned and operated in the high country for nearly 30 years. Voted Ash County's best heating and cooling service nine years in a row. Scott Brothers Heating and Air, a reputation you can take comfort in. And welcome back to the second quarter action, 12 minutes on the clock. We'll start this one second and 10 from the 17 yard line for the Lions after that incomplete pass. Now they'll be moving right to left, wearing their white jerseys, white helmets with their Carolina blue numbers. They got, they're on the close hash here toward the scoreboard. One receiver to this side, three to the north side. Rice back in shotgun formation. Husky show pressure. They back out of it. He's looking to run, scrambled out of the outside, makes a Husky miss. Another Husky miss. He shoves out a uh, stiff arm and gets about nine yards on the carry. Yeah, it looked like a Bridger Fairchild on the tackle again. Uh, the, that quarterback's a good runner, so I'm sure we've got somebody spying him. For a, That's the majority of who runs the ball, so if he's throwing it and running it, look for a spy. They do give them a first down on that. It looked like he was a little short from our vantage point. Nonetheless, first and ten for the Lions. Two receivers to each side. Shotgun formation. Huskies again showing pressure here. They back out of it once again. Send four. He's looking over here to the left side. Throws again a beautiful toss and catch there at the sideline at the 44-yard line. That's Zamarian James with the catch. He's uh, been an offensive threat for them all year. Yeah, he has. He, they've got two really good wide receivers, uh, James and then uh, the other one's uh, uh, number 12, Dodd. Uh, that's the two guys you got to watch out tonight for. First and 10 for the Lions from the 44-yard line. Shotgun formation, three receivers to the north, one to the south. He's looking for his play call. Shotguns formation taken. Huskies are all in the backfield. It is caught by a James. Missed tackle. He shakes one. Flag thrown before three or four Huskies get up there and make the tackle. What do you think? Uh, it's either a face mask or a block in the back, I'm sure, because it was such a late, uh, late flag coming out. And right in the area, it looked like a defender might have got turned. Nope, looks like it is going to be blocking the back there against the Lions. Holding penalty. 11.03 in the second quarter. The officials are still meeting and sorting out where this is going to be placed or, or penalized from. Blocking the back. Blocking the back against the Lions. We'll move them back to the 34-yard line. First and 20 now. Clock rolling in 11 minutes. Three receivers to the south side, one to the north. Rice back in shotgun formation. Coach is changing the play. Huskies defense staying close. Looking like pressure again. Backs off. Quick pass to the right side this time. Caught by the receiver. Gain about nine yards and a great open field tackle there. Again, looks like uh, Ian Graybill on the tackle. Yeah, Ian was all over that. If he'd have been a step uh, quicker, I believe he'd have intercepted that pass. Good gain there for the Lions trying to inch out this first down here after being penalized. 10-19 and counting here in the second quarter. Rice calling for his play. Two receivers to either side. Running back to his left side. He's still looking for a play call. Second and 11. Shotgun take. Huskies get pressure. He's flushed out. He's running up the middle. And he's dodging the Huskies, and he dives close to another first down um, before the uh, Huskies defenders get to him there. Yeah, great. Gray Bill's having a good night on the field as far as defensively as well. He's got his fifth tackle. Um we just got to stop that quarterback. Now, there's a little – is that a little wildcat? Nope. nope. He's just calling it again. Two receivers to either side. Quarterback Rice is near the line, but backs into shotgun formation. Takes the snap. It's that little toss pass to 23 up the middle. He's broken a couple of Huskies tackles. There gains eight yards. They've ran that three or four times tonight with success. Yeah, the shuffle pass is a safe play because – if the running back drops it, that's an incomplete pass. So that's a very safe play to run uh, if you're an offensive coordinator. 
Coach Hampton's going to take a timeout. We'll take it as well with Carroll Original Workwear. And back to the action here at Ash County High School on a Thursday night. It's a beautiful night out here. The temperatures are cooling off here in our area as fall is um, starting to set in. Beautiful night here at Ash County High School for a ball game. Second and four for the Lions. Again, moving right to left, 929 on the second quarter clock. Rice and shotgun formation, two receivers. Same play. Quick toss to 23 up the middle. He's going to gain the first down there to the 35-yard line. Yeah, the shuffle pass, they're getting good yardage on us. And I noticed they're running that play whenever they need a, a first down, so something we should key on now. First and 10 for the Lions at the 35-yard line. Two receivers to either side. Shotgun formation once again for Rice. Looking to the sideline. Snap taken. Two-step drop. He's looking to throw it. Got plenty of time. Looking across the middle. That guy shot out of nowhere fast, but the ball was just overthrown. That was intended for James. Yeah, the number six, uh, James, he, uh, he's he got some speed on him. Uh, and he had a couple steps on our defenders, so we really need to try to contain that kid. Lions back to the line here first. Uh, sorry, second and ten after that incomplete pass. Huskies again got lots of defensive backs on the field tonight. Three down linemen, two linebackers. Shotgun snap taken ten. Throws out to the left side on a quick route to number 11. He gains enough for about uh, eight yards there on the play. Yeah, it looked like Ryder Phipps on the tackle. Um you know the lines are running a little bit of shuffle play they're they're throwing deep they're throwing to the sidelines they got it mixed up tonight so keeping us on our toes a little bit third down again the huskies have been successful on these stops throughout most of the night two receivers to the north two to the south rice is up at his line calling the play Back in the shotgun formation. Toss to 23. Catch quick. He's up the middle, gets some blocks, and he's down inside the 20-yard line to the 18 before being tackled by the Huskies' defense there, Elliot Cox. Yeah, Elliot Cox, uh, he was made, he made a play there. That's his third tackle of the night. Uh, I'll, I'll describe here in a few minutes why they're running the ball because um, let's watch this play and then I'll explain it. First and 10 from the... 17-yard line for the line. Shotgun snap taken. He's looking to the end zone. He's got plenty of time. He's No, now he's getting some pressure. He tossed it to 23 wide open up the middle for a touchdown there for the Lions. That's great awareness by the quarterback, James. Yeah, to be honest, I believe he should have. Uh... Should have been called down. Uh, it should have been a sack, but they didn't get a touchdown. We ended up tackling my short. Great. That's my bad. They do mark him at the one-yard line. Looked like he got close to that, but they are going to mark him short. First and goal for the Lions. They get back up 747. Same play. Quarterback tosses it to 23 up the middle, and he just pushes ahead for the touchdown. First one for the Lions. Yeah, the best way what Ash County's doing tonight is uh, they're standing up their linemen, uh, bringing linebackers from different sides, try to confuse their offensive line. How you beat that's with a running game because you don't have nobody uh, knelt down to uh, prevent the run game. So they're, they've they noticed that, and I noticed they're, uh, they're running the ball a lot more. Right against that defense. Point after try coming up, kicks well in the air. That's through the uprights. Lines on the board here with 7.43 in the second quarter, bringing the game 14-7 to Huskies. James, that drive was set up by the uh, interception thrown by Peters to end the first quarter, and they drive it and take up about half of the second quarter here driving down the field to get on the board. 
You know, they um, the Lions have made some adjustments, it looks like to me, with the running game using that shovel pass. We may have to make a, some defensive adjustments to get our uh, defensive line down uh, so they can uh, free up the linebackers to make plays. So let's see what happens. Maybe at halftime we might see a little defensive strategy change. Of course, if we uh, can get some more scores, that you know that we may stay with what we got. But negates that a little bit and flips the pressure back against the uh, line. Sorry to pull away there, James, but that's what uh, uh, you're saying there. If we can get continue to score here, that's going to just put the pressure back on the line. Yeah, it is, and uh, I feel offensively we're we're better than they are. So and defensively we are as well. And the Lions will line up for a kick right to left. This is the Moe's Boots boot of the start of the drive here for the Huskies. They receive the ball at the 30-yard line. Players slip down, and he will be marked there at the 31-yard line where he received it. That's Jackson Dillard there with the uh, pickup Huskies. will take over first and 10, 741 here in the second quarter. Yeah, that's safe play, but Jackson... Um... Make sure you got the ball before you take off running, and uh, he secured it by having his knee down. Huskies will now be moving left to right. Peters in the shotgun formation. Three receivers to the south side, one to the north. Shotgun snap taken. Hand off the, up the middle. He is still bouncing off tacklers up to the 38-yard line. Luke Peterson there with the carry. Yeah, it's an eight-yard gain. Good call. I mean, we throw the ball quite a bit this half. Catch him off a little guard a little bit. Get eight yards. It sets us up to, you know, possibly we could throw the ball long here. Second and short ball at the 38-yard line for the Huskies. Peters in shotgun formation. Two receivers to the south. Now he's switching two to the north side. Peterson in the back in the backfield. Puts a man in motion. That's an uh, interesting start. Flips out to the left side. Ball is a little tossed over his head. And he's, he just missed the ball there. Yeah, I think we moved our guys just to see what the defense would react to there. They're playing a zone defense, and they're playing a uh, – it looks like it may be a cover two, or cover three. Um the screen pass, they seen that we had, they had three or four defensive backs back, so that's why we went with the screen play right there. Bryce Peters and Bridger Fairchild onto the field now for the Huskies offense. Three receivers to the south side, one to the north. Peterson in the backfield with Peters. Shotgun snap taken, handoff to Peterson. He's got some blockers lined up. First down run across the 45-yard line. They'll probably mark him down about the 46. Good carry there by Peterson. Yeah, um, you know, whenever you're, you see a defense that's playing the pass, the best way to counter that is with the running game, and we got seven yards out of that from Peterson. First and ten for the Huskies from the 46-yard line. 6.05 and counting here in the first half. Again, the Huskies have brought out a nice crowd. The band's down there. The student section is full. Lots of parents and family members out here to watch these Huskies tonight. Shotgun formation, empty backfield. Got everybody bunched up. Snap taken. Peters drops back. Plenty of time. Looks right, looks left. Throws back left. Caught by Graybill. It's going to be a short game, but get us over midfield there to start the drive. Yeah, that's a... The Lions are playing a cover four, so they're not going to give up the long ball. So we're going to eat up at that short game and uh, just grind it out with the passing game and the running game. Second down and a little over five and a half yards here for the Huskies. Shotgun formation, two receivers to either side. Peters calls for the snap. It's taken. Again, it's a handoff to Peterson. He stalls, goes up the left side, 45-40, 35-30. He's up the left side, line to the 20, cuts it back inside, 10, 5, 4, touchdown, Luke Peterson. Yeah, big 50-yard uh, run out there. Uh, Luke, he, weaving in and out all the way down the field. He's a stout kid, so, you know, if you don't if you don't put a body on him, he's going to break those arm tackles. That is exactly right, and he showed that there. His elusiveness, his patience. He hit the drive, hit the holes just right, and then turned on the Jets when he needed to. Huskies touchdown here with 5.03 in the second quarter. Overa lines up for the point after. 
Fairchild calls for the snap, taking balls up through the uprights. Huskies lead 21 to 7 with 5:03. Let's take a moment and look at this incredible run there by Luke Peterson on the greens excavating instant replay. And Luke Peterson looked like a little scatterbug there on that play. Left, right, left, right, up the right side, up the left sideline, turned it back right, dodged a tackle right at the end zone and punched it in for the Huskies. How about that Randy Marion four drive summary, James? It is uh, seven plays, 70 yards. Luke Peterson with a big 50-yard uh, touchdown. Uh, the kid's got over 100 yards already the, in the first half, so he may have a big night tonight, Kelly. And we felt like we haven't ran the ball much, right, James? That's how it goes on some of these games. He's just very consistent, 5, 10, 7, 8 yards on every carry, and then he busts out a 50-yarder, and you look down, and he's got over 100 yards on the night where we feel like we're uh, really throwing the ball. So either way, the Huskies lead 21-7, to 7, 503 in the second quarter. Overa ready for the Mose Boots kickoff left to right here. Lions back at the 18-yard line to receive. Olvera sets his troops up to the line. The Mose Boots boot is away. It's another beautiful one. Received at the 14-yard line. He again sprints to the middle. Gets over there where the Huskies defense is, and they take him down at the 30-yard line. Yeah, gang tackling. Four or five Huskies. That's what we got half tonight. It's pretty interesting to me when their receivers take that kickoff, they don't run uh, north and south, so to speak. They run toward the middle of the field each time like they're trying to set up a blocking tunnel or something. But uh, nonetheless, the Huskies' defense there to stop them at the 30-yard line. First and 10. Now for the Lions moving right to left. Shotgun formation. Two receivers to either side. Shotgun snap taking two-step drops. Looking here to the left. He's trying to get rid of it. Huskies defense is all over that. Great defense there by Phipps. Yeah, I believe if the, if the ball had been a little bit closer to that receiver, Phipps would have took that to the house. So uh, uh, Ryder was all over that. It's good to see the young man playing so tight tonight. And again, the Lions looking to their sideline for the play. Second and 10, 449 on the clock. Second and 10 from the 30-yard line. Shotgun snap taken. That quick toss to 23 up the middle. And what a great shoestring tackle there by the Huskies. Looks like it may have been uh, Lucas Spencer. Yeah, Lucas, uh, he's going to lead the team in tackling. I can, I can tell you that. And he is right there again. Huskies defense continuing to put pressure. Third down here for the line. Three receivers to the south side, one to the north. Shotgun formation. Shotgun taken. Huskies are getting a little pressure back there. He's flushed out to the right side. He throws it once again on the run. It's caught by his guy, tackled by Phipps at the 46-yard line. But, again, uh, high IQ for this quarterback. Yeah, that, and, and he's tall as well, so he can see over these uh, offensive-defensive linemen. So uh, he's been – he's had hands on him, and he's made plays with people wrapping him up. So he's, he's a good little quarterback. That's right, and they do list him at 6'4". Good height, shotgun formation, snap taken. He's two-step drop, throws it out again, caught by his receiver at midfield, and then he is just leveled by Spencer once again on the tackle. Uh, let's hope that young man's okay. Yeah, that was a, a – he, he did not see coming. Uh, Lucas just flying to the ball, and he just laid the hammer on that kid. That's number eight, Cade Leak. We hope he's okay. He trots off to the sideline to check with his medical team. Lines back to the line here, second down and six. Two receivers to each side. Javier Rice in the shotgun formation. Snaps taken. Two-step drop. Looking out to the right side. He throws it again for little number six. He's called it. That's James. And, again, a first down for the Lions. Yeah, Marion James is having a, a huge night tonight. He's just been all over the place. Ken Bridger Fairchild over there with the tackle. He's putting up some of uh, uh, real solid numbers all over the field tonight. First and ten for the Lions. Three receivers to the south side, one to the north. Three and a half minutes here in the first half. Shotgun taken. Two-step drop. Huskies with a little pressure thrown to the right side. Overthrown. Ian Graybill over there on the defense. Yeah, it's hard to throw uh, Ian's side. Um, 
he's so much bigger than that other receiver. So uh, the only thing that the quarterback could do for the Lions is throw it out of bounds. Rice back up again to the line, calling for his team's play. Two receivers to either side. Snap taken, quick toss to 23, straight up the middle again. Huskies defense is on it, but not after about a seven-yard gain, it looks like. Yeah, Ian Graybill, he, you know, he's got his sixth tackle tonight, so playing, uh, playing that other corner, he's getting a lot of action. Third and a long four for the Lions. See the Huskies defense can get a stop here before the half. Rice looking to the sideline. Now he's calling for the snap. Husky show pressure. Blitz coming. Pressure to the outside. He gets away. He's at the 30-yard line dodging Huskies, and he will gain enough for a first down there inside the 30-yard line. Yeah, uh, very good run. Now the quarterback, he's six foot four, uh, good-sized young man. He's hard to bring down, so, uh, you know, we're going to have to do a better job of tackling him. Two and a half minutes now. Rice back up to the line. First and ten for the Lions. Shotgun formation. Rice takes the snap. Looking to the left side. Quick pass. It is caught, but the Huskies defender there. 19. That's Andrew Minerva there on the good open field tackle with 2.09 and the half. Yeah, we've mentioned uh, Minerva a couple times the last couple weeks. And finally got his number and his name, so uh, uh, he's a kid that can tackle. Second down and six, shotgun snap taken. He's a quick toss out to the right. It looks like that was thrown a little high. Bridger Fairchild picked up the defender and took him down, uh, unknowing if he was able to make that catch or not. Yeah, Bridger with a big stick right there. Uh, you know, we don't want to see the kids get hurt or nothing, but that, you know, there was nothing wrong with that tackle. He had all shoulder pad. Uh, I'd say the kid got it, uh, his breath knocked out of him. We are going to take a quick timeout with Carol Original Wear. This is a, uh, a not an official timeout, but one we're going to take here for just a moment. We'll be right back. And it looks like the injured player is up now for the Lions. He's going to hobble off the field. Their team met over on the other sideline, had a had a moment, and the fans got excited, and they look like they are uh, ready to get back in action here. Number six there for the Lions. That is Zamarian James is going to hobble off the field. He's been a quick asset for the Lions. Hope he bounces back quickly for them. Yeah, I hope the young man's okay. Uh, I was talking to Coach Pruitt uh, earlier in the week, and I was telling him how much, how impressed I was with the tackling of our uh, of our defense. And it's the best tackling we've had in in years, I think, as a, as a defensive unit. Back to the action here on the field. Third and six for the Lions. Again, moving right to left. Under two minutes here in the first half. Snap taken. Two step drop. Looks right. Looks left. He's flushed out. He runs left. Runs center. Runs over a Husky, and he's down to the. 15-yard line, not quite enough for a first down, but it's going to be close, going to bring up a – I'm sorry, that is going to be enough for a first down. First and 10 now from the Lions from the 16-yard line. Yeah, again, you know, we've got to got to stop the, their bigger plays with the, with the run game, and that quarterback, he's a good runner, so we've got to make our initial tackles there. We had a couple missed tackles. Just bragging on us there, too. Shotgun snap taken. Rice looks right, looks left. He's going to throw, but there's a Husky pressure there. Lucas Spencer again with a pressuring uh, tackle there with 111 on the clock. You know, Lucas, he don't miss tackles, and uh, he was all over that. I mean, the kids are in double digits and tackles, so he's having a huge night. One minute left here in the first half. Rice under the shotgun snap here. Two receivers to either side. Second and 12. 
Snaps taken, looks left. He's looking to throw. He's got plenty of time, no pressure by the Huskies. He's pointing out. Now we get some pressure up there, and we do get a sack. That's Lucas Spencer on the initial contact. Yeah, yeah Lucas gets the assist on that one. Uh, one of our defensive linemen ended up finishing it off. Looks like 50 Herman there with the finish. 30 seconds now. Lions uh, have some timeouts. So they choose not to call them. Third and 20 almost. Clock ticking inside of 22 seconds. Snap taken. Two-step drop. He's looking across the center. Throws up deep. Right way back over the end zone. The ball is overthrown outside the end zone. 13 seconds to remain on the clock. Well, you pretty much can guess where they're going to go with the ball this time. There is a flag on the play. I'm not sure what the call is, but... uh, they're going to be backing them up even further. So they're going to go to the end zone with this next play. Look like it was a holding call there against the Lions. That will back them up. Uh, will we replay? Uh, was that third down? Will we replay third down, or do they? It's uh, We have fourth down. The field judge has third down. Shotgun formation, two receivers to either side, 13 seconds. Snaps taken. He's looking to throw it in the end zone deep. He's got a man running up the right sideline. That's picked off. Bridger Fairchild gets to the interception. He's returning out of the infield. 10, 20, 30. He's getting some blocks lined up. And he's going to be taken down about the 32-yard line. Interception and return there to end the first half. Big play by Bridger. Basically, he's playing center field, waiting on that deep throw. Made the play uh, into half. I mean, that's that's huge. And and Bridger's just having a huge night tonight. Great night there for the Huskies. Leading 21-7 here to end the second quarter. Let's take a moment. Cool down with the Scott Brothers heating and air. Cool down. Randy Marion Ford, the king of prices in West Jefferson. Randy Marion Ford guarantees the lowest price on over 5,000 new and pre-owned vehicles. Home to the best-selling trucks in America. Come see the staff you know and depend on. Take a test drive and take home your new Ford or pre-owned ride. You can also shop us online 24-7. The area's number one volume and fleet volume dealer in the southeast. We'll even send you home with a full tank of gas and free delivery up to 200 miles. When it comes to insurance, Miller Insurance has over 70 years of experience in the business. We offer auto, home, farm, and business insurance, along with several other products to make sure you have the right coverage that fits your needs. Before you renew, give us a call at 336-246-7151 or stop by 107 South Jefferson Avenue in downtown West Jefferson. Miller Insurance is proud to support all our hometown teams. Moe's Boots was established in 2005 in the high country. Now with locations in Ash, Avery, and Watauga, we are the high country's leader in workwear and Friday night football gear, including apparel, footwear, and accessories. Moe's Boots prides themselves on having the biggest selection of the hardest working gear on the market, along with undeniable top-level customer service with pricing that is unmatched. Come shop your hometown team's favorite hardworking brands like Carhartt, Danner, Rocky, and more. Carol Original Wear has been in the business of custom apparel and merchandise for over 20 years. From starting in Western Wear, they also specialize in custom embroidery, t-shirt graphics, and jerseys. They offer their services to teams, businesses, and the greater public. Carol Original Wear is dedicated to creating quality products that teams and businesses will be excited to wear. They are proud to support our hometown teams. One of the largest expenses you face as a homeowner is heating and air. Make sure your system is installed and maintained by Scott Brothers Heating and Air. At Scott Brothers, they install and service all leading brands of equipment and will even work with you on financing a new energy efficient unit, saving you money. Scott Brothers Heating and Air, locally owned and operated in the high country for nearly 30 years. Voted Ash County's best heating and cooling service nine years in a row. Scott Brothers Heating and Air, a reputation you can take comfort in. And welcome back to the Sky Zone HD Game of the Week. Kelly Hardy joined by James Klein, getting ready to start the second half here shortly. Let's take a look at the uh, first half recap. James, what kind of numbers you got for us here tonight? 
Well, Blake, he's a 7 for 11 with two touchdowns, 140 yards. And then the biggest thing that I see, just limited on five carries, but uh, Luke Peterson has 116 yards and a touchdown. Huskies offense put up three touchdowns here in the first half. They lead 21 to 7. On the defensive side, we have had guys all over the field. Bridger Fairchild, Lucas Spencer, Ian Graybill, Ryder Phipps. Eli Limley, all those making multiple tackles and being an intricate part of this defense, only allowing seven points in the first half. Yeah, Spencer and Fairchild have been the, the two uh, biggest names that we've mentioned tonight. Uh, Lucas, he's, I've got him with uh, nine and a half tackles, a half sack. Um, also got uh, Bridger with four tackles and an interception. So both these kids are playing, playing big tonight. Let's look at the uh, keys to the limit tonight. We had to limit the explosive pass uh, for the Lions. I believe we've done that to a, to a degree. They've had a couple of big plays, but for the overall, uh, I believe we have covered that. Yeah, the, the thing that concerns me with the Lions is the quarterback running the ball. As I mentioned earlier, uh, we're playing a little bit different defensively tonight. We're standing up our defensive line and uh, try to – trick them with our blitz and uh, with, the, with the linemen they got up front. But what's hurting us is the quarterback and then they're doing that little shuffle pass, you know, to beat to beat a, a team that's, that's standing up on the defensive line, you've got to run the ball. And that's what the lines are doing. And one of the other keys was protect Blake Peters and also finish drives. And, again, the Huskies putting up three touchdowns. We did have one interception there in the first half. Otherwise, pretty well did take care of uh, uh, Blake. I can't remember a time he was sacked. Yeah, our, offensively, our offensive linemen have uh, been protecting him very well. It also helps when you got a good running game uh, to protect him as well. So I look I look for a little bit more running game as this second half, uh, seeing that we're having a lot of success with it. Uh, basically, the Lions are playing four deep defensive backs, and then they're using their linebackers to play underneath. So how you beat that is by running the ball. So maybe they'll make adjustments. Maybe they won't. If they continue to play four guys deep like uh, West Wilkes did, then we're going to run the ball and throw the little short screens. And, again, this game tonight features two quarterbacks highly recruited at the high school level looking to play ball in the future, uh, both getting looks from similar schools from talking to uh, the coaching staff here at Ash County High School. Um, so, again, something to watch here in the second half as the quarterbacks continue to show uh, solid plays here. The Huskies will receive the opening second half Moe's Boots kickoff. Getting that time of year where you do want to visit our friends down there at Moe's Boots to grab some cold weather gear and sweatshirts for these fall high school football games. Twelve minutes to go here in the third quarter. Huskies look to receive Bridger Fairchild deep at the 10-yard line. The Lions kicker is off and away, and the kick is low and squibbed to the ground. Again, received by, it looks like, Dillard on that opposite side, and he just goes down to the ground again, going to give the Huskies great field position. Yeah, I believe the I believe the Lions special teams are probably up not are not up to par on the tackling end, so that's why you're seeing the the, the little pooch kicks that uh, the kickers make. And the Huskies lining up here for their first possession of the second half. Peters in the shotgun formation. Two receivers to either side. Shotgun snap taken, handoff to Peterson. He scoots up the middle and is going to get up to about the 40-yard line. Nice start here to the drive. Yeah, I was mentioning earlier, uh, the way the way it's often the team up is with that running game. So we could see a heavy dose of Peterson tonight. Second down and four here for the Huskies. Then we'll look to see if we split the 50-50 pot tonight with someone here at the school. 11.25 and counting here starting the third quarter. Peters in the shotgun formation. Put Spencer in motion. Quick pass out here caught by Ryder Phipps. Gets a block, scoots up close to the first down marker there at the 43, but he's going to be marked probably a little short. Yeah, just a little short there. Um, Ryder with the tunnel screen, good block by Lucas. Uh, we, was, we got enough to get the first down. 
Yeah, I'm a little surprised by that. A couple times tonight from our vantage point, it looks like it's been a little closer, but those officials have waved that on. Shotgun formation for Peters. He takes the snap. Drops back. A little pressure from the Lions now. We talked about it. He gets it away to Fairchild on the right side. Up to the 50. Steps out of bounds at the... Well, they didn't mark him out of bounds. I apologize. It looked like he was close, but they're going to mark him out about the 36-yard line. Yeah, he went from our 37 to their 36, so that's a good game. 27 yards on the play there by Bridger Fairchild. Peters in the shotgun formation. Stacked here to the right side. Puts Graybill in motion. Fakes the handoff. Now fakes another handoff. Looking deep down the middle. That ball's thrown short and intercepted inside the 20 there. Uh, looked like a trick play that just never really got off and got in good flow. Yeah, that's a new play that we've ran this year to double fakes. Um, I just don't think that Peterson had had his eyes up the field long enough to see the coverage there. So another interception. We don't need a lot of those. The, the you know the score is twenty-one to seven. So uh, we need to protect the ball a little bit. Two touchdowns, two interceptions tonight for Peters. Lions take over first and 10 from the 20-yard line, moving right to left, 10-21 here in the third quarter. Rice in the shotgun formation, two receivers to either side. Calls for the snap, two-step drop, quick pass out to the right side, hits his running back, open field, makes a guy miss, and then he gets leveled from the backside there just shy of the first down. That's, again, Lucas Spencer with another big hit. Yeah. Lucas is just, uh, I mean, he's going a mile, he's going a thousand miles a minute there and uh, laying, laying a hammer on a kid. Great tackle, but uh, enough for the first down there for the Lions. First and 10 from the 30. Shotgun formation. Snap taken. Tossed out to the left side now. Running back catches it, makes a couple moves, and he's sucked up and taken down by Fairchild as well as. Manny Olvera there in on the tackle. Yeah, it's good to see uh, Manny over there on the play. Uh, just got a couple yards on it, so uh, let's see what we can do with second down here. Second and seven now. Three receivers to the north side, one to the south. Nine and a half minutes. Huskies defense making a last-minute shift here. Calls for the shotgun snap. It's hit in the middle. Oh, it's intercepted off the back of the number six. Never hit the ground, and one of the Huskies uh, just picked it out of midair. Yeah, that that, that was a great play by uh, Lamley. Uh, the awareness is there. The ball is in the air, bouncing off of people, and uh, he makes the play and gets the, gets the interception. Rice throws the ball behind intended target James, rolls off his back, and Eli Limley there for the snatch, giving the Huskies uh, first and 10 from inside their own territory. First and 10 from the 42-yard line. Peters takes the snot shotgun snap, hands off to Peterson, and he's dragging the defender up the field. Not going to be much of a gain, but he does uh, gain about a yard there to start the drive. Yeah, he's a... He's dragging somebody. He got stopped at a line of scrimmage and ended up getting about a yard or two out of it. Second down and nine for the Huskies. Inside of nine minutes in the third quarter. Peters calling out the play. Three receivers stacked tightly to the north side. One to the south. Peterson beside Peters. Brings Limley in motion. Hand off up the middle. Limley's leading the way. Peterson's going. He's rushed up to the 25-yard line, still moving down the field. He's just carrying defenders down to the 21-yard line. A big 21-yard carry there by Luke Peterson. I tell you what, our offensive line made a hole that if my if my grandma was still alive, she could have got 20 yards out of that play. I like it. That's Zach Upchurch, Ben Bear, Parker Blevins. Those guys are up on the front controlling the line tonight. Both ways, a lot of these young men. Three receivers to the north side. Peters in the shotgun formation. 
Brings Phipps in motion, circles around. Handoff up the middle again to Peterson. He's pacing it, and he's down inside the 15-yard line. Nice little seven-yard scoot there up the middle. Yeah, I see uh, I see Coach Hampton realizes that uh, the run game is working tonight, and uh, it's it's actually running better. It's working better than uh, the past game, and, you know, if, the way I look at it, if it's not broke, you don't, you know, if it's broke, you fix it, and, uh, and it's not broke. Second down snap. Peters takes it, looks out to the left side, passes out there. It's caught. That looks like Bridger Fairchild maybe over to the left side, and he's just uh, putting in a lot of effort. They are going to stop him just shy of the first down, but a gain of about three and a half, four yards there on the play. Yeah, Bridger just he just keeps playing hard. It doesn't matter what the score is. The kid is just not going to give up. If, two weeks ago we seen him at Mount Airy playing as hard as he can, and tonight he's doing the same. Huskies looking to get here on the scoreboard here for the first time in the second half. Third down and short from the 12-yard line. Peters calls for the snap. Hands off to Peterson. They hit him. He spins out. Looks like they are going to get the stop. Looks like no gain on the play. Yeah, they're, we're going to be short right here, uh, Kelly. Let's see what Coach Hampton's going to do. Um, not sure if we've kicked the field goal uh, this year yet, but uh, – Definitely in the area where I feel like our kicker could make it. I look for one of those tunnel screens right here, fourth and fourth and short, uh, probably to Bridger. Uh, that's what I'm I'm thinking they're going to call. Anticipated call there from James Kleins. Bridger comes off the sideline. He is in a stacked formation here to the south side. Three receivers, six fifteen and counting. Fourth down and short. Peters calls for the snaps. Now he's changing up the play. And before we can get it off, it looks like the Huskies uh, did take a timeout. We'll take one as well here with Carol Original Wear. How about taking by the Huskies? Carol Original Wear, you're proud to be the original in the camera. I'm just going to ask a lot of folks. Carol Original Wear, we've been in business for over 50 years. And on the water, we're the best of merchandise. And as we come back into the action here, it will be fourth and short for the Huskies from just uh, about the 14-yard line. Long two yards here for the Huskies. Again, three receivers to the south side. Peterson beside Peters. Eli Limley in the slot position. Peters is looking for the snap. He's looking to the sideline like they're going to – 15 seconds on the play clock. He's changing the play. Empty backfield. Nope, now he's calling Peterson back. Looks a little confusing here. Eight on the shot cl play clock. Peters, Peters catches it. Hits Fairchild on the screen. Ten, five, touchdown. James Kine caught it. Yeah, formation I've seen there in the short yardage. Our tendency is to throw the, the screen, and uh, I had a feeling that's who it was going to. Beautiful play there by Peters to Fairchild on the right side. He just catches it. Runs into the end zone, fourth touchdown of the night for the Huskies. We lead 27-7 to with 6.02 here on the clock. Overa lines up for the point after try. Bridger Fairchild down for the hold. He calls for the snaps. Oh, snaps fumble. Fairchild picks it up. He's running the right side. He's looking for somebody to throw it to. Tosses it back. It's incomplete. The point after try will be no good. Huskies will lead 27-7, 6.02 in the third quarter. Let's take a look at that touchdown play there by Fairchild on the Greens excavating instant replay.
And now let's take a look uh, with James for that Randy Marion forward drive summary. Yeah, if, if I'm correct, it was seven plays, 50 yards, Bridger Fairchild with the, the tunnel screen um, to give us a touchdown. And the Huskies lead 27-7, now kicking off left to right. Overa is going to line it up. Lions are at the 15-yard line with two receivers. Cool brisk air sitting here uh, down on the stadium. Definitely a cool night here as the sun's gone down. Olvera's getting the ball teed up at the 40-yard line. Sets his troops, and the Mo's Boots boot is away. It's a nice high kick, fielded at the 12-yard line. This time he does run straight up the sideline, uh, runs into his own player, bounces back, and takes off again to the 35-yard line. Uh, he just kind of like hit a wall, bounced back, and then continued to run again. Uh, first and 10 for the Lions at the 35-yard line. Yeah, uh, his own teammate helped us on that one, so uh, no telling where that would have ended up. But they still got good field position. Uh, they're sitting on the 35. So uh, with this quarterback, you never know what will happen next. Javier Rice going to be out here again under the shotgun formation. Two receivers to either side. He's got three stacked to the north side, one to the south side. That's Rice to Rice, to Marion Rice with the carry up to the 40-yard line, gain of five. Second and five here now for the Lions. Yeah, number number 17, which is um, uh, Jason Dillard with the, with the tackle there. Shotgun formation snap taken by Rice. He flips it up again to Rice. First down run to the 47-yard line. Five and a half minutes here in the third quarter. The Lions starting off this drive pretty quick with a couple of nice first down runs. Yeah, two runs right here. Uh, I'm not sure if the Lions are trying to slow down the game or uh, set us up for something long. Shotgun formation for Rice. Three receivers to the north side, one to the south. He takes the snap. He looks left, goes back right. Husky's got pressure. Screen pass called, but it is taken down with no gain. That's Lucas Spencer again with tackle for loss back to the 45-yard line. Yeah, I think Lucas wants to make all the tackles tonight, which is okay with me, but um, he's just all over the field. Sure enough, two-yard loss there for the Lions. Brings up second and 12. Shotgun formation for Rice. Three receivers now to the south side, one to the north. Quick pitch to Rice. He's got some blockers over midfield there to the Huskies' 49-yard line. Brings up about third and six. Lucas Lucas Spencer again. Uh, He's just playing all-conference type of football this year. It's correction. That's a third down and about seven or eight yards to go now from midfield. Shotgun formation here by Rice. Snaps taken. He's looking to the right. Tosses out to 23 Rice. He puts a move on. Misses the Huskies defender, but then he's tackled from the backside. Looks like Bridger Fairchild there again, maybe coming in to help with that tackle, bringing up a short third down. Yeah, I think Ethan Houck was on that one as well. Uh, Bridger was up there to make the play. Uh, Good to see uh, teamwork going on. Shotgun snap, pitch to 23, and that is Manny Overa with the tackle right at the line. They're showing fourth down. I'm not sure if they're going to get enough to get that first down. That's going to be the Huskies' ball, James. I was confused if it was third or fourth down. They're moving quickly on this drive. Yeah, our defensive line is uh, freeing up our linebackers to make plays, and, uh, you know, that's a couple times tonight. They went for it at midfield, and uh, they, I think they've maybe got a first down one time. Uh, one out of four or five tries, so uh, the defense is playing well tonight. Huskies defense with another turnover on down stop. Take over first and ten from the 43-yard line. 3.43 left in the third quarter. Peters in the shotgun formation. Puts Eli Limley in motion. Snaps taken. Hand off to Peterson, and he's hit fast at the line and that line's defense was all over that play 
uh, for no gain. Now a little chippiness going on here. Two flags fly after that play. There were some extracurricular activities happening. Yeah, and we, and we don't need that uh, when we're up the way we are. So uh, let's hope that uh, cooler's he- cooler heads prevail and uh, we can get uh, out of this game without anybody getting tossed. Referees will confer here on who they're going to throw these flags on. Two guys threw uh, flags well into the air here, and uh, they are uh, pushing the teams away here so they can confer and and figure out what they're going to call. 3.39 left showing on the clock. Officials come into the sideline. Personal foul against the Lions. That is going to move the Huskies across midfield. All the way down to the 42-yard line. Well, they'll take over first and 10 here, moving left to right. Big penalty there against the Lions. Yeah, if, I, if I'm a coach over there on that other side, I would be really uh, having a discussion with that uh, young man. They made a great tackle. Uh, was going to set the Huskies up for a long second down, but then uh, after the play penalty, Peters takes the snap, drops back, looking to the right, throws it across the field short to – uh, intended for Ian Graybill. Yeah, he threw it a little short. Good route by Ian, but uh, just come up a little short on the play. As the uh, temperature uh, falls here, it looks like maybe a little dew on the field or a little coolness in the air. Maybe make that ball a little slicker here for the last uh, quarter and a half. Yeah, you know, the past the past four or five weeks, uh, we've got a hold for us. But the uh, past four or five weeks, it's been uh, pretty warm at night, and tonight's our first cool night, so it could make a difference. Right, and there was a penalty there on the Huskies, moving them back across midfield to the 48-yard uh, line where it'll be first and 20 for the Huskies. Three receivers to the south, one to the north. Peters takes the snap, hits Fairchild to the right side. He dodges a tackle, balls on the ground. I believe the Lions have recovered that at midfield. Yeah, um, that may be a case where the ball is wet. We were just talking about the weather. Because uh, it looked like it slipped out of his hand. So, you know, we don't need tur- turnovers uh, this stage of the game. Sure did. Sure-handed Bridger Fairchild normally reliable on that. Spun to go up the field and took a hit. And the ball, again, I believe may uh, be a little damp or wet now. Uh, but uh, Huskies put it on the ground and the Lions recover. 314 now in the third quarter. Lions moving right to left just at midfield. First and 10 from the 49-yard line. Shotgun snap taken. He's he's back and broken. The play was broken there by Phipps. He broke on that ball and almost made an interception. I tell you what, Kelly, if they keep throwing that side, Ryder's going to pick one off and take it to the house. He's been all over number seven tonight. He sure has. He's jumped a couple of those routes and just missed. Javier Rice with that toss. Uh, he's thrown some beautiful passes in the first half, but has not been able to make his mark here in the second half uh, with many long completions. Two receivers to each side. Shotgun formation for Rice. Quick toss out to uh, Demarius Rice. He gets leveled again. I mean, the Huskies defenders are lay, laying the lumber. There is a penalty flag coming in there near that hit. Yeah, they're going to call targeting on, uh, on uh, Lucas. And uh, hopefully... Hopefully he won't get ejected. Uh, he's just playing hard, and uh, but it's going to be 15 yards. Personal foul targeting hit against the Huskies called, and the uh, fans are not happy with this call. Uh, we were just laying the lumber, making good, solid hits, and uh, got penalized there for a great tackle. Coach Hampton claps his guys up and says, let's do it again. First and 10 for the Lions from the 34-yard line. 3.03 on the clock. That was a big hit, James. Yeah, and, and, and all you can do is just keep playing. Don't worry about the play. I think it's a clean play. Just keep playing. First and ten for the Lions. Snap taking pressure on Rice. He scrambles. He's up the middle. Stiff arm still going. 25-20. He's still eluding Huskies tacklers down to the 16-yard line. Good run there by Je- Javier Rice. Yeah, that was a good run. Uh, missed a couple tackles right there, but uh, they're getting closer to Inching closer to the end zone, so we need uh, need a big stop. This cooling temperatures has uh, fogged up our windows here. I'm going to rise a window here in the uh, Ash County Stadium booth so we can see. 
Play completed to number seven on the screen pass. He's up inside the 10-yard line before being stood up by a host of Huskies. Luke Lucas, he is, he's mad <laughs> for that play that he got called on him. He's there again making a tackle, uh, just showing what a good athlete he is. Second and five for the Lions. Back up to the line, shotgun formation. Approaching two minutes here in the third quarter. Three receivers to the north side, one to the south. Rice beside Rice in the backfield. Snap taken. Quick toss inside. Ooh, almost picked off by Eli Limley. That ball was thrown a little high and hit him in the hands. Yeah, I think he was shocked. The ball was right on top of him. Uh, good play by Limley. Uh, third, third and five. So uh, I look for a shovel pass right here. They have ran that often in this situation. It is going to be two receivers to either side. Rice beside Rice in the backfield. Huskies defense creeping up to the line. Six DBs in the game for for Ash County. Snap taken. Pressure up the middle again. He's being snaked, though, and he's not going to get away from 22 tonight. <laughs> I tell you what, Lucas may be setting some records tonight where he's going. That was a one-on-one -on -one scenario. Lucas Spencer against a 6'4 quarterback, and he took him down. No problem there at the 11-yard line. Again, a fourth down created here by the Huskies defense. See if they can get another stop on fourth down. Rice in the backfield, two receivers to either side. Low snap, he picks it up, looking to the right side, throws over the field. Fairchild again, intercepted in the end zone. He's out to the 10, 20. He's getting blockers ahead of him. He's to the 30, 40. He's approaching midfield, still got blockers ahead. He's going to get caught. No, he's still eluding players. 30, 25, 20, 10. Fairchild, 100 yard <laughs> touchdown return. There is a flag on the play at the 18 yard line. More likely it's the back with the block in the back. But I tell you what, Lucas, I mean, uh, Bridger Fairchild, 100 yard return if it, if it stands up. Such a big play. I seen the wheel route developing, and, and so did uh, Bridge. He was all over it. You're right. I looked down there, and that ball was going in the air, looking like a nice pass, and Fairchild just snuck right under it and took it. Huskies coming off the field clapping. Looks like that penalty may go against the Lions. That is a 105-yard touchdown return for Bridger Fairchild. Huskies lead 33-7. to Yeah, uh... I think I know who my player of the game is going to be. What about you? It's early on in the third quarter, but we got a real couple good candidates. Uh, might even have to do two tonight. I tell you, we've had huge guys on both sides of the ball, really. Yeah, it's been defense. The defense has played huge. I know Coach Pruitt, he's got to be excited how his defense is playing. Uh, you know, you got a couple kids that's been playing really well this season, and, and they're showing why they, they're such good players. Huskies looking to go 4-1 and one tonight after that loss last week against Mount Airy. Coming out to statement here against a high-scoring team. And again, you mentioned our defense has held them to seven points through almost three full quarters. Fairchild down for the point after. Snaps good. It's up this time, and Olvera gets the point after this time. Huskies lead 34-7 to seven with 63 seconds left here in the third quarter. Let's take a look at that long touchdown return on the Greens excavating instant replay. Coming back from that exciting play there by Bridger Fairchild, he caught it down here at the left side of the uh, end zone, again reading that pass in the back, called it, and he ran up the whole left side, getting blockers along the way, slowing down, pacing himself left, right, ended up in the end zone, James. It was a beautiful return by Fairchild. Yeah, Bridger, uh, you know, to be, to be uh, the size he is, he's he plays probably with the biggest heart, and uh, uh, tonight he's showing it once again why he is such an important piece to this team. A uh, 105-yard return on a, on a touchdown. Uh, you know, you can be a fan of either team, and you see a play like that. You've got you've got to recognize the kid is is, is just such a good player. Huskies out here on a unique formation. The penalty puts about the 45 yard line for the kickoff. Is that 
Blake Peters out there uh, going to attempt this onside kick? Sure looked like Blake kicked it to the defender, recovered at the 33-yard line, and a little trickery there on the uh, attempt there by the Huskies. I was about to say I couldn't see him picking it up and throwing it down the field. So uh, uh, never seen uh, Blake kick the ball, and, uh, you know, that's that's a first for me. Guess he wanted to get that in the stat column, one kickoff, huh? I don't know. Had a great night offensively here. Huskies, their defense back on the field just after making that huge play. Lions moving right to left from the 34-yard line. First to 10, 103 here in the third quarter. Shotgun formation taken by Rice. He looks out to the right side, connects with his player, and another solid tackle made by the Huskies defender. That's Eli Limley, number 14. You know, I, again, uh, talking to Coach Pruitt this year and just bragging on how his team, his def- defenders are tackling. they just just such good tacklers. Great tackle there by the Huskies. First and – I'm sorry, second and six here now for the Lions. Rice in the backfield. Shotgun formation. Takes the snap. A little pressure by the Huskies. That looks like a hold there, but they're not – they're going to get away with it. He's motioning his guy, moving to the left, and that's taken down. 27, Lucas. Sorry, Lucas Spencer, 22 again. Yeah, he's got uh, he's got one and a half sacks now, and uh, I've about lost track of his tackles, but I have to count that up. He's he's got a lot of tackles going on. And that looks like this will end the third quarter. The Lions uh, going to let that drain down. We'll take a break here. The Lions hoping to cool off this Huskies offense. Let's cool down with Scott Brothers, Heating and Air. Randy Marion Ford, the king of prices in West Jefferson. Randy Marion Ford guarantees the lowest price on over 5,000 new and pre-owned vehicles. Home to the best-selling trucks in America. Come see the staff you know and depend on. Take a test drive and take home your new Ford or pre-owned ride. You can also shop us online 24-7. The area's number one volume and sleep volume dealer in the southeast. We'll even send you home with a full tank of gas and free delivery up to 200 miles. When it comes to insurance, Miller Insurance has over 70 years of experience in the business. We offer auto, home, farm, and business insurance, along with several other products to make sure you have the right coverage that fits your needs. Before you renew, give us a call at 336-246-7151 or stop by 107 South Jefferson Avenue in downtown West Jefferson. Miller Insurance is proud to support all our hometown teams. Moe's Boots was established in 2005 in the high country. Now with locations in Ash, Avery, and Watauga, we are the high country's leader in workwear and Friday night football gear, including apparel, footwear, and accessories. Moe's Boots prides themselves on having the biggest selection of the hardest working gear on the market, along with undeniable top-level customer service with pricing that is unmatched. Come shop your hometown team's favorite hardworking brands like Carhartt, Danner, Rocky, and more. Carol Original Wear has been in the business of custom apparel and merchandise for over 20 years. From starting in Western Wear, they also specialize in custom embroidery, t-shirt graphics, and jerseys. They offer their services to teams, businesses, and the greater public. Carol Original Wear is dedicated to creating quality products that teams and businesses will be excited to wear. They are proud to support our hometown teams. One of the largest expenses you face as a homeowner is heating and air. Make sure your system is installed and maintained by Scott Brothers Heating and Air. At Scott Brothers, they install and service all leading brands of equipment and will even work with you on financing a new energy efficient unit, saving you money. Scott Brothers Heating and Air, locally owned and operated in the high country for nearly 30 years. Voted Ash County's best heating and cooling service nine years in a row. Scott Brothers Heating and Air, a reputation you can take comfort in. And getting back here to the fourth quarter action for the Huskies and Lions game. 12 minutes on the clock, 34-7. to seven. It will be third down and seven for the Lions now going left to right. Shotgun snap taken. Two-step drop. Throws out to the right side. Ball is thrown low. Um, just no real 
uh, consistency in the passing game tonight. Yeah, I think the ball's a little wet. And I'd say uh, uh, James there would probably be glad it was short because uh, Limley was all over him. Shotgun formation again for Rice. Snap taken, fourth down. He's looking to air it out, throwing again. Caught at the 45-yard line and tackled immediately by Limley. Let's see this spot. They look like they're going to mark him short. He looked to be a little closer to the first down, but it looks like they're going to mark him short. Yeah, he, James had to come back to the ball, which put him short of the first down and then Limley with a good tackle. Uh, another time that they went for it on uh, fourth down and probably should have punted. Um, you know, it, they've done that quite a bit tonight. So we've got the ball now. Huskies, uh, Peters and the Huskies offense will take over first and 10 from the 43-yard line. 11:41 here in the fourth quarter. Peterson in motion. Peters takes the snap, throws it left. Quick to little brother Bryce. He catches it, goes up the sideline. Eight-yard, nine-yard gain. I believe that's the first catch he's made tonight. Yeah, that's the first reception for Bryce. Uh, you know, let's let's see if they throw that little screen pass where Bryce will throw it down the field. I don't think we need that, but about every game we've attempted it. Peters in the shotgun formation. Two receivers to either side. Peterson beside him. Brings Fairchild in motion. Takes the snap. Back to throw. Looking across the middle. What a great catch there by the Huskies offensive rider Phipps. Called it twice, James. Yeah. He had, he had to dive backwards to, to make that snag. And uh, the ball popped out of his hands. And then uh, he was agile enough to, to make the play. First down catch there by Phipps. Moving the Huskies down to the 30. I'm sorry, 24-yard line, first and 10. Two receivers to either side. Peterson in the shotgun in the backfield with Peters in the shotgun formation. Snaps taken, looking left. He connects. That is Bryce again. He pushes off a defender and gets inside the 20 down to the 18-yard line. Nice six-yard gain there for Bryce Peters. Yeah, it's, Bryce has been pretty quiet the first half, and this half, uh, you know, uh, Big Brother's trying to give him the the ball. So it uh, be good to see if uh, we have another uh, Peters-to-Peters connection in the end zone. Peters in the shotgun formation, two receivers to the north, one to the south. Snap taken, hands off to Peterson up the middle, and he's collided with immediately. Middle linebacker there for the Lions put a stop to that at the 18-yard line. Yeah, it looked like maybe he got back to line of scrimmage or got one yard on that carry. That's his 12th carry tonight, though. Third down now for the Huskies. Peters looking to the sideline for the play call. 10-10 on the fourth quarter clock. Huskies starting to slow down the pace a little bit here. Using up the play clock. Two receivers to the north, one to the south. Peters beside Peterson in the backfield. Hands off up the middle. And run inside the uh, 15-yard line down to the 14. Looks like it's going to be close for a Husky's first down. Yeah, I've seen seen Bear uh, slapping his head and possibly missed uh, the block there. But I think he had a good enough block where it's close to a first down. So uh, looks like we're short about fourth and one. Uh, I know Bear will make those plays. He's he's just a sophomore and – a big, big young man, so uh, he's got plenty of time to correct things. And uh, I, I know his dad, Larry, he'll stay on top of that. And it looks like we're going to get our first measurement here of the game. Uh, close enough to, uh, I don't know if Hampton can call for it to see where he's at or if the officials do that. Not sure how that goes in high school. Yeah, he can he can request it, and uh, most of the time a referee will will call it in there if he hears it. Looking like short by about six inches or so there. Fourth and very short for the Huskies. Shotgun formation by Peters. Two receivers to the north, one to the south. Peterson beside Peters. Lucas Spencer in there like a slot back. Fourth and short. Peters 
Calls for the snap. Calls for it again. Takes it. Hands off to Peterson. He scoots by. Gets a first down. Continues to drive inside the 10 all the way down to maybe the 5 or 6 yard line. Great uh, fourth down call there by the offense. Yeah, Lucas uh, Spencer was the key on that block. He's playing what I call a sniffer uh, position um, where the fullback's lining up in the slot and uh, they're pulling him like a guard and he's kicking out the block and uh, that just developed the the hole there was by Lucas kick, kicking out the end. And the Lions do have a player down after that play. We'll take a quick break with them as well and come back and learn more about that sniffer position. And back to the action here. The Lions player hopped up. He's going to walk off the field of his own court. James, hit me up with that again. Tell me a little bit about the sniffer position there. <laughs> so uh, in, a lot, in high school and college ball, they, uh, they'll use a, a fullback as basically like a third guard. And, and a lot of times you'll line him up inside the tackle or just outside the tackle, and you'll, use, you'll have him on a cutback and block the end so you could double down the the defensive tackle. Very interesting. Huskies come out of the snap quick, go to the line, hits Fairchild on the left side. Another touchdown, Peters to Fairchild. They busted the snap and ran up the line and ran that one real fast. Touchdown, Huskies, 40-7. to seven. Nine minutes, 26 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, there's a... Uh, that tunnel screen is just designed for Bridger. Um, when you can throw the tunnel screen, and uh, it's just as good as a run. Olvera out for the point after try. Fairchild down for the hold. Snap is out. Holds down, kicks up, and it is good through the uprights. 41 to 7. Huskies lead, 9.26 to go. Let's take a look at that Greens excavating instant replay. Quick touchdown score there by Bridger Fairchild. James, what's the Randy Marion Ford drive summary? Well, if I'm accurate here, uh, I've got a minute and 17 on five plays for 43 yards. Uh, Bridger Fairchild with the tunnel screen. It was about a nine-yard play from uh, Blake Peters, and that puts us uh, in in position where the clock's going to continuously run. Nice. So we do have a 34-point lead, and that is uh, meets the criteria. Well, it's either the 34 or 36. Uh, I was curious too. Yeah, it's it's one of the two, but uh, I'm I'm sure if 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 we get the ball back and score for sure, that's going to move. Totally. Olvera lining up here, going to kick right to left. we got to start looking ahead for the Dr. Pepper player of the game and the Carroll original wear play of the game. We've been talking uh, off screen here a little bit and about those plays, and we've got some good, pretty good ideas. Olvera with the Mose Boots boot, and it's another good one. Deep to the 10-yard line, fielded by the Lions. Moving up the left sideline, he's to the 25-30, missing a couple Huskies tacklers and gets to the 32-yard line. Yeah, good play over there. Uh, number 63 for us uh, be uh, Parker Blevins on the tackle. First and 10 from the Lions from the 30-yard line. Moving left to right here, two receivers to either side. Huskies running some late defenders on, first and 10. Rice in the shotgun formation. Takes that quick toss to other Rice, and he's got a spurt of energy up to the 40-yard line where he stood up, but I believe he's got enough for a first down carry there, James. Yeah, that's the first time they uh, ran the ball with the halfback I, that I can recall in the second half, so the clock is continuous to run. Uh, I believe it is 34 then, and uh, they got a first down. First and 10 for the Lions. Shotgun snap taken. He's looking over to the left side. Throws caught by receiver and another great tackle by the Huskies there. Uh, but a gain of seven there for the Lions offense. I believe that was uh, Ryder Phipps again with the nice tackle. 
Yeah, Ryder was all over that play. You know, Ryder's another one. It's a wrestler. Uh, got good tackling form. A lot of this defense is made up of wrestlers, so that, that explains why we're tackling them really well. We have tackled great tonight. Second and four for the line. Shotgun snap. That quick toss to Rice up the middle. And again, another great tackle. That's Manny Olvera with the, short, with the tackle after a short game. Yeah, Manny's been – he's been really uh, – I wouldn't say silent. He's got five or six tackles, but, um, you know, when you got another linebacker that's a wrestler uh, making plays like that, it just shows how good our defense is. Third down and four for the Lions. Snap taken. Looking to left. Huskies get a pressure, and they're all over the quarterback. That's going to be a, a long loss snap sack. I believe Lucas Spencer. Luke, I think it's Luke Peterson on that one. So that, that's a sack out of him. So that that's good to see. Bringing up now a long fourth down for the Lions. Fourth and 11 after that tackle for loss. Seven and a half minutes approaching on the game clock. Two receivers to either side. Rice looks, looks to the sideline. Fourth and 11. Takes the snap. Two-step drop. He's flushed out already. He's going to look to run it himself. He shakes the defender, gets across midfield, puts his head down, and he will gain the first down down to the 45-yard line. I tell you what, he left uh, one of our kids uh, out of his cleats there, but a uh, really good run out of this very talented quarterback. He's really not uh, uh, had a terrible game, but not had a great game either here tonight. But he is uh, gaining some momentum here at the fourth quarter. Seven minutes on the clock. Shotgun formation. Snap taken. Quick throw to the left. That ball is dropped. And, again, the Huskies' defense seems to be reading these quick screens, and they're all over it. It wasn't for number uh, six, uh, uh, James Kidd. That would probably have been uh, interception. He uh, – he made a good key block to keep us from picking that off. Second and ten now for the Lions. 6.55 to go here in the fourth quarter. Two receivers to either side. Three to the north, one to the south now. Snap, taking quick throw down here to the left. Ian Graybill is all over that and knocked that play down as it approached the receiver. Yeah, I believe if uh, Ian would have been just a little more inside shade on uh, on that receiver, he'd have, he would have intercepted that. But it was a good play to break it up. Third down and ten now for the Lions. Snap, taking drops back. He's looking to get rid of. It. He's motioning out to the left side. Picks up a block. He is uh, pushed out of bounds there by the Huskies defense. After a little to no gain once again. Well, you know, Luke, Lucas was there. Um, you know, it's good effort by the quarterback. We had about four or five Huskies that was determined that uh, he wasn't going anywhere. Fourth and nine from the 45-yard line. 6.39 on the clock. Empty backfield. Nope. He, Rice up at the line calling for his play. One receiver to the north, three to the south. Huskies showing blitz. They back out. He's throwing it across the middle. He connects with James. He eludes the tackler, 25-20, 15-10. He's still moving, spinning down to the five-yard line, it looks like, there for the Lions. Great offensive play for them, a 40-yard gain. Yeah, that little James kid, he's a, he's very shifty, quick. Looks like he's got good hands. Big play for uh, for the young man. And that does give the Lions a first and goal. They did mark him out at the six-yard line. 6-10 and counting. Rice back to the shotgun formation. Looking to get some points here. Quick toss to Rice up the middle. He squirts toward the end zone. They've not marked it yet. Uh, Just short. About the half-yard line now. Yeah, I'm not sure who was uh, on the tackle, but uh, they're a little short, and they're they're hurrying back to the line. 5.45 5.45 now on the clock. Rice takes the snap. Hands it again. Same play to Rice up the middle. And this time he falls in for a Lion touchdown with 5.38 on the clock, bringing the score to 41-13. to Yeah, they get on the board with the, with the run game. Um, big pass uh, by the quarterback to get him in a position. But uh, let's see how we come out and, and uh, take the ball when we get it. 
Lions lining up to try the point after kick. Snaps taken, holds down, and play is blown dead before the kicks got off a couple flags on the play. Looks like offsides against the Huskies. That'll move them a little bit closer there for the point after try. Yeah, I think that's our second penalty tonight. We've been really uh, – we've, we've had good composure, put it that way, with our, uh, our penalties. They will reset now to try the point after with 538 on the clock. Snaps taken low. Again, kicks off. It goes through the uprights for the point after. 41 to 14. 538 left on the fourth quarter clock. James, just over five minutes left in the game, but I believe we both have conferred about this. Let's do the Carroll Original Wear play of the game. What you got for play of the game? Well, that's got to be Bridger with the 105-yard return. Uh, he, on that wheel route, he read it all the way. Remind me of a, a center fielder in uh, baseball. Just tracked the ball down, caught it. Uh, if you really wanted to measure his run, it was probably more than 105 because he made some cuts side to side. Uh, I was exhausted after uh, watching him run that ball. <laughs> That's right. So our Carroll original wear play of the game was the 105-yard interception return for Bridger Fairchild. There is the Lions push down to the end zone, but uh, Bridger caught it and took it back 100 yards plus for the Huskies. Moe's Boots kick is uh, off. It is fielded by Olvera at the 49-yard line, and he just sits down, and the Huskies will take over first and 10 there. Yeah, having the hands team out there, and uh, you know it's coming. Uh, they, you know, lines are not giving up. They're going to try to do the onside kick. They're going to try to do something special to get back in the ball game. So let's just run the clock out and end this game. I was going to say, let's see how the Huskies approach this drive. First and 10 from the 49-yard line. Peters in the shotgun formation, 538 on the clock. There are some whistles before this play gets started. looks like a timeout called by the Lions. We'll take one with them. Let's take a Carroll original wear timeout. And as we get back in here to the fourth quarter action, James and I are going to go ahead uh, and put the Dr. Pepper players of the game away we normally do one player but we just can't pick between these two tonight both young men have had uh, uh potentially record-breaking nights uh, in many facets we'll get to those just after this play peters in the shotgun formation two receivers to the north peterson in the backfield he brings Phipps in motion, but it's a cross handoff to Peterson. He shoots up the middle, gains about eight yards there, down to the 42-yard line. Yeah, the the jet motion there, they had their high, their eyes on Ryder, and uh, we ended up going up the, up the middle there on an off-tackle play and got eight. Coming into the night, the player to watch was Blake Peters, and he's had a great night at quarterback with some good passes and connections. But these two young men we're going to name as players of the game have both uh, been huge components on the defensive end tonight. Again, let's watch this play, and then we'll get to that. Peters sends Fairchild in motion. Peters drops back, looking deep. He's going to the end zone again. Got a man open. That's Ian Grayville up the middle, and that's another Huskies touchdown. There is a flag back in the offensive backfield. Yeah, I think it's coming back. Uh, it's a 43-yard pass, but I think we've got to hold him, possibly. And it looks like you are correct. That is going to be a holding call against the Huskies. Uh, Graybill got open down the center of the field. Peters hit him in stride. Uh, let's do that one again, but this one's going to come back this time. Yeah, I, I'm sure that one of the offensive linemen was afraid to to give up the sack there. Uh, I, I'm sure Graybill 
on to that big touchdown. But hopefully we can get it back to him right here to make up for it. That is going to push the Huskies back across midfield to the 46-yard line. Second down and almost 20 for the Huskies offense. Peters in the shotgun formation. Now the Huskies look like they're confused, and they're going to take a timeout. Carroll, original wear timeout. We'll take one with them, and then we'll get back to those players of the game we've been promising. And welcome back to the fourth quarter action after that Carroll Original Wear timeout. James, let's talk about these two young men who have had phenomenal games uh, on defense, especially tonight. Well, I first I'm going to mention Lucas Spencer. He's got 18 tackles. He may have more than that, but that's what I've got him with, and at least – uh, he's been in on two sacks. Um, and then if you want to talk about the other one. So, again, your guy, Lucas Spencer, all over the field, massive hits, probably approaching, like you said, 20 individual tackles. And then the other young man that's made a huge difference is number one, Bridger Fairchild. Offensively, he's put up probably 50 to 60 yards tonight, two interceptions, one with the return for six on a 105-yard return. So Lucas Spencer and – Bridger Fairchild, our Dr. Pepper players of the game. Peter's back here in the shotgun formation, takes a snap, rolls right. He's under some pressure. He eludes that guy. Now he's looking to throw downfield, hits. uh, Looks like brother Bryce Phipps in stride there at the 40-yard line, close to a Huskies first down. Yeah, that's about a 17 or 18-yard reception, it looks like. So that gets us closer to first down mark. Um... It looks like we're about third and five, I, I would suppose. And how many offensive touchdowns has Fairchild uh, thrown in tonight for it? Three. He's got three touchdowns offensively and one on the defense. So he's got four touchdowns tonight. Huge game by Bridger Fairchild, as we knew there on both sides of the ball. But you hey, can't leave a defensive tackle specialist like Spencer, who has uh, laid some hits tonight. Peter's in the shotgun formation, third down and five. Calls for the snap. Looks fakes toss left. Looking back right. He's going up top for Graybill, and he out jumps the man. Spins off, and there's Graybill's touchdown. Just inside of four minutes, the Husky strike again. Yeah, uh, that makes up for the hold. I know Coach Hampton doesn't want penalties, but uh, we went right back to to our bread and butter with Graybill and uh, scored on a forty yard forty yard touchdown. 40-yard touchdown catch there by Ian Graybill up the right side. He high-pointed that ball, went up, got it, and then spun around the defender to get into the end zone. Bridger Fairchild down for the snap. Manny Overa to kick the point after. Snap's good. Ball's down, kicks up, and that just looked really good through the uprights. 48-14 Huskies lead. 3.54 to go in the fourth quarter. I tell you what, uh, Kelly, we're up. We've been on pace for our uh, pretty much our average all year except the Mount Airy game where we're scoring 48 and 48, 49 points a game. Um, offensively and defensively, we've looked really good tonight. Great, and we normally take a look around at uh, other scores on the Miller Insurance scoreboard, but again, we're playing on a Thursday night, so probably not any other uh, high school games going on uh, in our area tonight, James. Yeah, there's a lot of JV action, but we don't have those scores tonight. But uh, uh, tomorrow night, um, you know, there's going to be a lot of local high school games. Uh, you know, we encourage you to go out and, uh, co- well, come out to the Powder Puff game tomorrow night. There's uh, The girls will be on the football field. Nice. It is, is it homecoming or the, they do Powder Puff not at homecoming now anymore? I, I'm not sure it may be because of the weather, but uh, t- tomorrow night is the Powder Puff game, so uh, come out and sp- support, the, support the females uh, playing football. Nice. Very good. I enjoyed that back in my time here at Ash County High School. 354 in the fourth quarter. The Mose Boots boot is underway, and again over the head of the receiving team. Back to the eight-yard line. Shoots up the left side, 25-30, 35-40. He's got some speed. He is tripped up there at the 41-yard line. 
Yeah, it's a good return by the Lions. Um, that's probably the best return they've had all night. So they're they're still playing hard. That was Demario Rice with the long return there for the Lions. Thirty six points is what I heard for the continuous clock and we sit at 34 so we're not going to get that luxury tonight but we will uh, hopefully get a stop and get out of here soon yeah it's it's been a while since i've been coaching high school football so i couldn't remember i knew it was that in that range so it's 36 we'll know that the rest of the year perfect shotgun formation by rice quick snap quick toss out to the right side and again Another great open field tackle. Uh, Limley held him up, and Spencer come and laid the lumber. Yeah, I, I tell you what, they, those lines are going to go home uh, pretty sore tonight. And, you know, you can thank uh, Lucas Spencer for that. I'm telling you, that young man has laid some hits tonight. Uh, he is all over the field. It's exciting to watch. Um, and the Huskies tackling again has just been phenomenal. Give a lot of credit to Coach Pruitt and his guys for putting in the work because it's definitely paying off. We've got another injured lion on the field. We'll step away for just a quick second. And it finally looks like we're getting some motion from that player down. James, there had been a hush over the stadium here. Still a pretty large crowd for the Huskies, and it got real quiet as this young man uh, was down for a moment on the field. Yeah, he got – he put it this way, uh, Lucas with the hit stick, if you're playing mad, and you probably understand that. But uh, um, he tried to make it to the sideline, and um, – he he had to sit himself down, so uh, I'm hoping the young man will be okay and not a concussion or not nothing serious. But uh, it was uh, a pretty solid hit by by Lucas Spencer tonight, and he's been making plays like that all night. And you'll hear the claps in the background for the young players coming off the field. And uh, again, Huskies football stadium here in Ash County, North Carolina, uh, excited. Uh, to get another win tonight um, but want to mention here the rescue squad here at ash county another small town feature those guys come out to every home game are here to support the fans the the uh, athletes the cheerleaders really anybody in need and uh i don't believe they're paid to be out here yeah they're not in in law enforcement too they come out to the ball games uh just our our first responders our police medics they're they're huge in our community and, and you know if you see one thank them that's right. Shot back to the action here. Shotgun taken. Hits James over to the left side. Quick speedy back, and he's got enough for a first down. Um, 2.58 in the clock. Lions move across midfield. And I'll sentiment that James said, uh, think of a rescue worker, think of a medic, think of a police officer. Those guys come out and keep us safe here at the ball games. We do live in a great community where we can come together, enjoy a sports, and uh, hopefully not have too many actions going on. But we do have those guys here to help support. First and 10 for the Lions inside their field of play at the 48-yard line. Snap taking a little pressure on Rice. He moves up and, again, tackled in the backfield. That would be another sack. Looks like right, right, Lucas right, Peterson right. and Lucas Spencer split that one again. Yeah, in my opinion, our strength of our team is is our linebackers. We've just got three guys – we have four guys that are so good tacklers. So uh, uh, it's a strength – a good strength to have. 
Husky's trying to get a player off the field here before the snap's taken. He just makes it. Snap's taken by Rice. Throws it over the right side. Hits James again at the 42-yard line. He tries to squirrel back inside and gets stood up by the Huskies. Defense taken down there. Ball will be placed at the 41-yard line. Yeah, uh, Minerva with the with the tackle. Uh, big play. Oh, okay. I got the wrong number. Uh, Jackson Dillard with the, the tackle, number 17. Third down and short. A minute 45 to go here for the Lions. They're looking to get another touchdown here for their offensive stats. Three receivers to the north side, one to the south. Snap taken. Quick toss to Rice. He scats up the middle, pushes off a defender quick up to the 30-yard line. He's pretty speedy guy. Two late flags come in. Looks like maybe a face mask against the Huskies. His head got turned pretty quick there. Yeah, um, you know, mistakes like that, we don't need that. We've we've had a pretty mistake-free ball game tonight. I have us for four penalties, so, uh, uh, you know, if we have under five, that's that just shows the composure this team has. That is correct. Great uh Pretty much penalty free night. That one is going to hurt us. Puts the Lions first and 10 from the 15 yard line. 80 seconds left here on the clock. Rice looks to the sideline, takes the snap. He's throwing into the end zone for James, and it's caught right up the middle. He got just past Dillard and made the touchdown. Yeah, on the slant there, uh, James' the speed and his hands. Uh, had a step on our uh, defensive back there. Uh, gives him another score. And, you know, with a few minutes left on the clock, uh, we, we've got some backup players in there too. So so that, that's sort of understandable. Right, and we anticipated a lot of points tonight, and the Huskies have done their part, and the Lions uh, get their third touchdown here. They are going to go for two points. Quick toss out to the left side. And uh, he gets near the goal line, but then the Huskies stand him up, and that will be no good on a play. It looked like it should have got into the end zone. Yeah, it's good to see that we're still playing and playing hard, even though we're up. Uh, some teams have a tendency to to take it easy on teams, and uh, you know when you're up a lot, and um, that just shows how well coached we are uh, as a team by by uh, Coach Hampton and. Uh, Piscopo and Pruitt and some of the other guys, um, you know, uh, a minute and something left. We're still playing hard, and that's what we want to see. After the Lions score, Huskies do remain ahead 48-20 to 20 with one minute and 13 seconds here in the fourth quarter. It's been a beautiful night here on the Sky Zone HD Game of the Week. I've had a phenomenal time as alongside James Klein calling the Huskies game. Yeah, I, I mean, I just love high school football football in general and uh um when you can come out here and enjoy the atmosphere of our fans the community and see our huskies play hard and and get another win it's it's you know going back to work the next day is it makes it all all worthwhile huskies looking to prove to four and one on the uh year playing here on thursday night and then next friday night can't recall right where we are, but I believe we're off the mountain next weekend. Yeah, I haven't even looked that far ahead. I'm one of those types of coaches I do one game at a time, so we're going to look it up for you. I like it. Sounds good. Mose Boots kick deep to the 15-yard line, returned by a Huskies uh, return man. Is that Dallas Miller with the ball? 20, he scoops out to the 40, 50 over midfield. Nope, that's Luke Peterson. Looks like he had that return all the way across midfield to the 42-yard line. Yeah, that's a big run by Luke. Uh, you know, he's 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 shifty. He's quick. He sees the uh, sees the field really well. We do have a flag on the play though. Blocking the bag. Blocking the bag. Just looked it up, James. Next Friday night, September the 29th, we're at Alexander Central, the Cougars. Yeah, and, that, and uh, that's a game that I feel that we that it'll be a close game. I feel that we can win that game. So, uh, you know, come out and support the, the Huskies and uh, on the road. I know that we'll need it and uh, look forward to it. Is that Taylorsville? Yes, it is, and uh, we played soccer down there the other night, and um, um, they got some good, good, a good community down there as well. They got some real nice people. 
First and 10 for the Huskies at the 39-yard line. One minute, one second on the clock. Peters in the shotgun formation, takes a snap, knees down. Looks like we're going to take one of the knee and kill this uh, clock. James, did we get an a update on the soccer match tonight for the Huskies? Yeah, uh, Ash County Huskies went down to East Wilkes tonight and won 3-0. to zero. Great. Nice win there for the Husky soccer program, improving their record on the year. Now the Huskies football team looking to go 4-1, and one, going to get one more snap here. We'll end the game. And a great win for the Huskies here tonight against a nice crowd here at Ash County High School. Peters takes the snap, takes the knee, and the Huskies will win 48-20 to against the Asheville Christian Lions. Thank you for joining us tonight on the Sky Zone HG Game of the Week. Don't forget our Dr. Pepper players of the game, Lucas Spencer and Bridger Fairchild, both huge nights on both sides of the ball. Yeah, they had both had career nights, I felt. Um, Lucas Spencer, he just, I mean, he just hits people. And then you got Bridger with his uh, ability both on the offensive side and the defensive side of the ball. Uh, it's nice to watch watch these guys play. Love to come back and run the season out here after facing that tough Mount Airy team. Again, I've been Kelly Hardy, joined by Games Klein, bringing you the Sky Zone HD Game of the Week. We've had a blast. Huskies win 48-20. to We'll talk to you all next Friday night. Rice in the backfield, two receivers to either side. Low snap, he picks it up, looking to the right side, throws over the field. Fairchild again, intercepted in the end zone. He's out to the 10, 20. He's getting blockers ahead of him. He's to the 30, 40. He's approaching midfield, still got blockers ahead. He's going to get caught. No, he's still eluding players. 30, 25, 20, 10. Fairchild, 100-yard <laughs> touchdown return. There is a flag on the play at the 18-yard line. He was all over it. You're right. I looked down there, and that ball was going to the air, looking like a nice pass, and Fairchild just snuck right under it and took it. Huskies coming off the field clapping. Looks like that penalty may go against the Lions. That is a 105-yard touchdown return for Bridger Fairchild.